Hey, this is Eric with your Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're on site and we're going to have a little bit of fun today. Today we're actually in a home that was not done by us, but wanted to give you a couple tech tips if you're building a home. A couple things to watch for. Okay, so this home does have a media panel, which is what this is. So the wiring does come from the street into here and then it's distributed from here out throughout the home. That's the way all homes should be wired in Idaho. Unfortunately, there's still some that aren't. But that topology should be in every single home to give you the ultimate flexibility. Couple things here that you'd want to look out for. One, the size of this enclosure. The fact that this is so small, these come in different heights. So the fact that it's only a 14 inch tall enclosure on a home even that's 2,500 square feet, just imagine trying to fit a modem and a router and a direct TV power supply and a direct TV splitter, a network switch, all those types of things in here. You can see there's no way that's going to fit. So in any home nowadays, this should be either a 28 inch or a 42 inch tall enclosure to give you that flexibility. And the cost is like 30 or $40. It's not even a big number, okay? So we have that going on. Couple other things here that I noticed just regarding the wiring and follow me, we'll head over here and take a peek. So even in the same room, you can see here that during, and this goes back to the actually installation uh, process. The individuals that ran the wire, um, they unfortunately didn't realize what they were doing. And this Cat5 wire, you can see how it's all white in here and it's got this nasty twist to it. The unfortunate part is what that will do is that causes the pairs that are inside that wire to split apart, which will then result in slow internet. So typically how you'll experience this in your home after you moved in is you'll be paying for the fastest speed with cable one and you'll be paying for a thousand and you may only be seeing 600 or you're trying to move files throughout your home and it's running slow. And unfortunately, once these walls are covered in sheetrock, there's nothing we can do there. Okay. The other thing going on here is if we go just below that, you can see this Romex staple that the electrician put in and he actually drove the, the staple in so far that it crushed what's called the dielectric, which is the part inside this coaxial cable. Problem with that is it will actually decrease the performance of that cable. If you're watching TV and you happen to notice that every now and then you get some pixelation, the image drops out, you lose audio, those, those are the types of things that happen when the wire is damaged in that manner. Unfortunately, again, in the state of Idaho, because there's no regulation, no, this will not get discovered. No one will look at this and go, oh, that wire needs to be re-ran. Unfortunately, the homeowner, when they move into this home, if they're using this location, they, they will most likely see some problems both on their network cable and on their TV drop in this spot. All right, well, let's head over to another room. Follow me and we'll go take a peek. All right, so here we're coming into their great room, right? Awesome location for a TV, really well laid out. There's a problem though, okay? For those that don't know, they'll look at this and go, yep, I'm great. This tip is actually for the builders out there. Okay, Mr. And Mrs. Builder, here's something you really need to look out for. All TVs and mounts are designed to be mounted 16 inch on center. So that means that they actually need to pick up two studs and those need to be centered. Unfortunately, in this situation, the center of the wall is actually not centered on the studs. And not all mounts will allow you to move the TV left or right. So what that's going to mean is that the TV would actually be sitting like this, right? Because they'd have to pick up these two studs. So when you're building, when you're doing something like this, what you want to do is you want to pick your center line. You want to go eight inches off each side. Again, find your center line, eight inches off each side, then 16 inches thereon. What that will do is from the center point, give you those two studs 16 inches apart that you need for the TV mount that will then allow you to mount that TV dead center on the wall. Because I know if this was me, I would not be happy going to hang that TV and not being able to have it centered. Okay. But the good tip, I do want to close out with something good. Good thing is nice big piece of conduit here. A standard conduit will not work. You got to go larger like this for the HDMI cable to fit through. The other thing that's really nice, they get the high voltage and the low voltage away from each other. So they're not going to get interference. Okay. Those are your tech tips for this Tuesday. Have a great Tuesday.